Hello, and welcome to I Have News for AU. My name is Charles Merrick, and having hosted the pilot episode for this show, I am now back in power for a second time. And I bet you never wanted to hear that from an Englishman. Wait, so you're like English? No, I'm from France. Oh, okay. Anyway, in recent news, at the first Republican debate this September, Rick Perry gets loud applause for his support of the death penalty. Your state has executed 234 death row inmates more than any other governor in modern times. Have you... At the second Republican debate, for no apparent reason, Rick Perry makes a U-turn on the death penalty. And at the end of the day, you, you may criticize me about the way that I went about it, but at the end of the day, I am always going to err on the side of life. And that's what this was really all about. For me. Senator Sanders. And in the most recent debate, MSNBC goes through five cameramen due to eye injuries sustained from Michelle Bachman's clothing and eyes and rhetoric. I think you earned every dollar. You should get to keep every dollar that you earn. That's your money. That's not the government's money. That's the whole point. Before we begin, let us introduce our team captains and contestants this evening. Leading the political hacks is someone from the South who is new to technology and thinks Swedish people can teleport. Those Southerners will believe anything. Please welcome Gabe Wood. And Wood Gay is a Swedish man who... Where, where, where did he go? Jo Josh, where did Eric go? No one went out the door. I think he teleported out. Oh, great. Bring on the backup panelist, because we here at ATV always have a backup panelist. Please welcome... Uh, uh, well, what's your name? Yaba Tufor. Yaba Tufor! Uh, reading the media wonks is a woman who wants to be ten feet higher by the end of this year. Uh, if you stand up and put on some high heels, I think you can do it by the end of the show. Uh, please welcome Brooke Friedman. And with Brooke is a young man who was described by the Dalai Lama as an absolute twit. Probably because he called His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Please welcome Andrew Hirsch. Gabe and Yabba, here is your major story. Please look up the screen. Hello, everybody. My name is... It doesn't matter. And now a rebuttal from a bullfrog with a toupee. Hello, everybody. It's very nice to meet you. I like... Now, if you'll look to the clone on my right, you'll find that his economic policy is extremely lacking because it's my economic policy. <laughs> uh, right, so what do you reckon was going on there particularly? Was it a bunch of people molded out of plastic discussing what they're going to do once they find the Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> it was that, but what else do you reckon it was? I have no idea. Republican National Debate? The Republican National Debate. Do you guys know anything else about it? <laughs> oh. Has anyone in this room been following the Republican National Debate? Sure, why not? I should be, but I haven't. Yeah, I think I could say the same. Can anyone here tell me who exactly of those plastic models is in the race? Who they actually are? Uh, Rick Perry? That's, That's a name that I've seen on the internet. Uh, Newt Gingrich? Yep. Mitt Romney? Mitt Romney's there? Yeah. Michelle yeah. Bachman? Who? Michelle Bachman? Mm, no, never heard of her. We don't say that name around oh. here. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Democratic campus, my friend. Is um, she the one who's a witch? No, I think that was yeah, Christina Donald. Oh, Christina Donald. Yeah, no, this was the... I, Oh wait, no, Michelle Bachman's she's the one with the she's the one with the witch's eyes. That's the okay. difference. They yeah. all run together. I have Newt. Oh yeah. Yeah. So what wait, Michelle Bachman's gonna take Newt Gingrich and uh, <laughs> let's not let's not go there. This is the news that the non-stop election continues. At present, there are nine Republican candidates hoping to run the country on weekdays and run little league teams on weekends. Well, it looks like Obama is already targeting his opponents, so... Well, if the uh, national debate is any indication, Republicans are not very good at handling fastballs. <laughs> uh, primary candidate Herman Cain is gaining support for his 999 plan, which involves dialing 999 for the British police and asking them to, uh, and the Queen to take control of America again. Uh, Brooke and Andrew, here is your story for this evening. Ah, that looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, hey, kitties, I'm going to take away your privacy. Enjoy! 
I love Facebook. It makes me happy when I'm lonely. Man, I just love to make gestures and all that. What do you think, random person? So, uh, anyone noticing particularly odd about that Facebook conference? Besides from the fact that it's a conference for Facebook. Well, usually like on Facebook, you can't have like face-to-face -face conferences. Ironically, it's called Facebook. Yeah, that's a good point, and it has nothing to do with the book at all. In fact, I would guess most people who use Facebook are illiterate. Mm. Wait, so how do they read the blog posts and stuff? Your mm. guess is as good as mine, my friend. Mm. Wasn't that Andy Sandberg with him? That was Andy Sandberg. Does anyone know what Andy Sandberg's been? He's been doing Mark Zuckerberg impersonations. Does anyone know who for? For SNL. Yes, SNL is the correct answer. Um, what are some of the recent changes that have been going on on Facebook? Well, there's kind of been this like Facebook within a Facebook within a Facebook type deal. You got your ticker on the top right. You got your whole timeline thing. And you got your chat on the bottom right. It's just as hard to use as Windows Vista. It causes seizures among the ages of 10 to 25. Mm. Wait a minute. I'm between 10 and 25. Anyone here not between 10 and 25? I am. I think we're all screwed. Oh, yes. bugger. Uh, um, uh, in more important news, can the Queen still be poked on Facebook, or not be poked on Facebook? Depends on what your definition of poked is. Ooh. She can, but you have to have the special poking scepter. Oops. I would poke Prince Harry on Facebook. <laughs> I would you poke would, Prince wouldn't Harry you? On Facebook. I would. Uh, can I, I wonder if I can poke Pippa Middleton. <laughs> anyway. I think many have. Yeah, oh. you're probably right oh, on that snap. one. <laughs> this is the news that Facebook is continuing to make itself worse and ensure Google Plus doesn't steal its crowd. Facebook has been quick to say it is better than Google Plus. While Facebook has a live stream of news on the side, Google Plus has a live stream of news on the side. Facebook now has enlarged pictures on the news wall, whilst Google Plus has large pictures uh, on its mm, news wall. Okay, so they're exactly the same except for the fact that no one uses Google Plus. So, at the end of that round, Gabe and Yaba have two points, and Andrew and Brooke have four points. <sighs> we'll Solid. be back after this brief slot for advertisements. Welcome back to I Have News for AU. We now move to the missing headline round. The contestants will be given a headline with some of the words missing. Their job is to figure out what the full headline is. The first one is for the media wonks and comes from the spoof. Blank, to quit Athens as Greek debt crisis work worsens. Um, I would guess economy. I would guess goats. Goats? You're allowed multiple guesses, by the way. Those are not the correct answers, but I do appreciate the funny. Um, citizens. No, you're still not quite there. I would, this headline's from Spoof. I would say politicians, but I wouldn't think a politician would give up anything until he was either killed or absolutely forced out of his office. That's a good point. This is the story from the completely <laughs> credible news source, thespoof.co.uk, that the Parthenon, one of the most famous buildings of the ancient world and three times winner of the ancient architectural idol, is to move from Athens, probably to join the rest of itself in the British Museum. Your second headline, Brooke and Andrew, is FBI to look closely at blank, blank shots. Close call. I'm gonna go with Scarlett Johansson. Is the correct answer. This is the news that it has been confirmed that the FBI is investigating the possibility that someone hacked Scarlett Johansson's phone to get pictures of her naked. In a statement, the Bureau said, the FBI is aware of the alleged hacking incident and is looking into it. I'll bet they are. Should the culprits be caught, they will undoubtedly be pumped thoroughly in the interrogation room. Now it's your turn, political hacks. Your first headline comes from The Onion. Biden asks White House visitor if he wants to what? Go for a shower? <laughs> Lick his mother. <coughs> uh, visit the Rose Garden. Visit his grave. 
<laughs> I, I am the ghost of Joe <laughs> Biden. I like this. He's the first ghost vice president. <laughs> what advances we've made in this melting pot of ours. Even more than John Adams. <laughs> Anyway, these, those are not the correct answers, but you got to love them, frankly. America's finest news source has learned that Joe Biden insisted that he and the Estonian ambassador should lose the suits and cruise up to the roof, where they could unwind with a couple of brews. Joe Biden has not commented on his actions as his foot is still in his mouth. Some people are hoping Biden will use this incident to admit his true feelings. Now that Don't Ask, Don't Tell has been repealed. Your final headline comes from the Eagles Incubator. Bow ties are cool. Top blank blank. Quotes from series five, if you need a hint. Top nerds squeal. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> Again with the Joe Biden. He's universally <laughs> applicable, <laughs> damn it! That is true, that is true. Uh, no, the correct answer is uh, Doctor Who. Bow ties are cool. From D a quote from Doctor Who, series five. Oh, come on. British programming? That's what we've gotten down to? It was the funniest thing on the eagle that didn't have spelling mistakes. <laughs> the eagle oh. doesn't have any spelling errors. You mean like this one from Dead Man Walking. The AU production is set to run from September 29th through August 1st <laughs> in at the Katzen Studio Theatre. Uh, anyone, that's not important. The important thing is that bow ties are cool. And Yava is here to agree with me. Yes. We will be back for the final scores after this uh, break. All it needs is a smiley face emoticon at the end to be complete. Welcome back to I Have News for AU. We are now moving into the random news and assorted other things improv thing. It's a very technical phrase. So, All let's, right. um, what were we talking about? We were talking about Facebook. Okay, do you hear about the new feature on Facebook? It's really cool. No, uh, okay. I had a lot of, but not that. So, uh, while you're sleeping, Facebook will take pictures of you, analyze them to figure out your deepest fears, and then send them to corporations. <laughs> I don't think Facebook's that corporate. Really? No, There's I'm a picture of Danny DeVito on my computer. It's true. <laughs> uh, see, I would expect this from Google. I mean, Google, I mean, if Facebook is doing that, what the hell is Google doing? Yeah, those they, two O's. They, they yeah. see no evil. The two O's, O's are evil. eyes they're like cameras. that. Yeah. I love how like, they're always like changing it based on the day. It's like, who cares? Like, they started doing that yeah, recently, what? and then A it's lot. like, hey, look, it's Leif Erikson Day. Or it's like Puzzle awesome. Day. So should I sit on if my bed all day doing a puzzle? It's Jim 79th birthday. Oh, oh no, I don't know. Like, I'm so scared of Muppet. Oh, my God. He was born on the same day that Dr. Seuss died. Really? Not the oh. same year. Wait, if he like reincarnated, year. he's reincarnated as like Dr. Seuss, but as Jim Henson. Or something like other yeah, way around. Yeah. Yeah. Different years. Though. You know, I'm Doctor really. The uh, only problem with your theory is that they were both that Jim Henson was born before Dr. Seuss died. Speaking of Jim uh, Henson, well, have you guys ever thought that it ain't easy being green is an anti-environmental message? <laughs> Did you know recycling? I think is actually bad. Yeah, we here at I, at ATV are experts on environmental science. Yeah. All they do with Definitely. that styrofoam is just chuck it into a furnace anyway. And then they pump the uh, like resulting smog directly into polar bear lungs. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. That's why they and have then white that. Saves baby seals. Saves baby seals from yeah. being. And then seals. after that, <laughs> the polar bears the vomit and pollute the ocean. So I mean, it's like you're just destroying the earth one at a time, man. It's amazing. Polar bear vomit in the ocean. Can't explain that. We should point out at this point that ATV is trying to win a green car. That is a blue Nissan Leaf. Well, of course, the reason for that is I'm just joking. That car's actually mine. I sort of bought it. So, just so you guys Can know. we win it? Can we no. move away slightly? I don't think you so. bought an environmental car. I did. I, I love the environment so much. I think it's so important to, to do good You like those people driving like around in those three wheeled cars in China? The only thing is I'm really scared because like if I get like somebody hits me like India. lightly, I think I will die because like they're really poorly constructed. constructed. So what are you, are you like on this like, oh, I'm too cool to be, you know, anti-mainstream or mainstream or whatever. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm too cool to be. Plastic glasses? You're a hipster. I'm not a hipster. She's a hipster. I'm Prove not. It. Okay, just because I listen to Weezer and like I wear chucks doesn't mean I'm a hipster. It's okay. Ah, she admits it. I didn't admit it. So I'm an eighth hipster. 
I'm not a, yeah. I'm not a hipster. My sister calls me a really a hipster, even though I dress like this. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister is stupid. You I know what gorilla I hipster is that most people our age don't dress like this. That's Which is true. currently being disproved by everyone except for Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Like just busting the chops over here, man? Just screwing in this thing. No you know one. what gorilla hipsters eat, by the way? No. Not bananas. <laughs> What's Did you hear they? about the hipster that touched the grilled cheese sandwich? No, yeah, I did didn't. It before it was cool. Ah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, 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 oh. I, f I forgot part of that joke and he burned himself. God damn! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we're I hate the food at TDR. Like, the grilled cheese is awful. I can't eat that. Yeah. How have we yeah. gotten to Facebook to grilled cheese at TDR? Can we change subjects? There should be an the app. The audience that doesn't want to hear about grilled cheese. I just, I just don't. <coughs> they actually eat it. There should be an app that All tracks down. the thread of a conversation <coughs> so you can realize exactly how inane and boring you and your friends Isn't it are. weird though that after a certain point when you're on Facebook like it just stops um, uh, recording what you're saying and so like you can't find that comment when somebody said something that you needed that was important. That's because what you're saying is not interesting enough to be recorded for all time. I mean yeah, like by what Congress that you know of. That you know of. I guess you, know, you don't know about the secret notebook logs that they're keeping. Oh yeah because that that one Facebook status update where I said that John Goodman is totally the mad note for his performance in the season premiere of Community, that needs to be preserved. I thought that sucked. Yeah. It's the new Declaration of Independence, man. I like That's the one of the most genius shows on TV. Oh, no, I like the show. I just don't really like John Goodman. How? What I don't know. He just doesn't do What is he, too fast for you? Doesn't do Is he too fat for you, you yeah. hipster? <laughs> <laughs> Let's... No, we can't start insulting fat people. That's the job of the onion. Let's <laughs> move back to the important things. Chris Christie is a fat person, and he is not running for president. Does anyone know why? Because he's just too embarrassed of those photos that are at all those New Jersey rest stops. He's like the blob. Because he can't find his socks. Because he hid the election ballot under that. one of his rolls. Uh, yeah. Anyone else know some of the other candidates who are, are actually running? We would discuss some of these already. Rick, Mitt Romney, Rick Perry, Rick Perry. Is Herman Obama King, King? Michelle Obama, Obama is, is officially running, running in the race. Is he Michelle doing Bachman, a James Bachman. thing where he's like, yeah. "Well, did everything." You know who I should run for president? Dog. You know who should run? What about Obama's dog, Bo? He's awesome. Like I would vote for him. He's I a would really vote chill. Him. He's a really chill political uh, party. Have we ever voted for a dog? I mean, I the last time, I last time an animal was appointed to high office was under Caligula, who Ooh. appointed his horse. What about Tony the Tiger, though? What about Spiro? He's dead. What? Mm. No. No. Yeah. The no. Guy who voiced Tony the Tiger died a while ago. Yes, Thurl Ravencroft. Oh. Wait, yeah. ra hold on. What was the last name? Ravencroft. That was okay. Is that, that a house in Harry Potter? Teacher in high school. Do you think there's a relation? Because if I got taught by one of the descendants of Tony the Tiger, <laughs> that would be the greatest thing to happen. It would be well, great. Th there are three signs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, I appreciate it. Uh, That's, uh, there are I three signs that. that you can tell. Um, one, did she wear stripes a lot? He, actually. Sorry, I'm getting my genders confused. Does he have a tail? Was he always covered in sugar? Does he have little kids following him? He had white powder on his nose all the time. No, that just means he does I don't think that coke. was sugar. Yeah. No, that's probably not something you should mention. Sorry, we kind of crushed your dream there. Now you don't want to be associated. Uh, you guys are absolutely awful. Oh, no. The worst. Okay, well, at the end of that round, we now come to the final scores. The media wonks. You have six points. The yes! Political hacks. You have three points. Rick. So, oh, yeah! Rick. That makes Brooke and Andrew Woo! a top. Yeah, this will go down history along with the 2000 election. Yeah, you're basically yeah, you're counting our, our chads. Well, that's because you're political hacks and they're wonks, so they know about this sort of stuff. Wonk sort of sounds like wank, a little bit. No, no. So it was no. pathos. I feel like I feel like if I got a shirt and like changed it, I'd get like kicked okay. out of school. All right, but. Okay, at the end of all that, it's been great, and thank you for watching. But before we leave, there is time for a quick caption competition. Anyone? Think about caption. To oh my god, we're picture. falling! Ah! This hill is the best hill! I'm the king of the world! Thank well, you. that was over quickly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching the program. You can visit our website, ihavenews.auatv.com, and find us on Facebook. That is all for now. Good night and ta-ta.